Yo, what is going on guys? It is Slayer and I'm back with another video. Uh, quick disclaimer, I'm sorry if I sound nasally congested or dead at any point throughout this video. My allergies are kicking my butt today, but I did want to get this video out for you all. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how I personally would like to see the 5th anniversary units, both the dual LR Dokkan Fest and the part 2 LR. You can probably guess who that part 2 LR is because he's right behind Vegito's spiky hair. Um, so let's give out a quick few, uh, pointers before we get into this. Uh, one, uh, they will start out as their base form in their LR form, and they will work the same way Int Rebrian does. They transform immediately into their Super Saiyan Blue state. That way you can run, uh, other variants of that unit, and they will link once they transform with the other units. Um, two, they will seem, not they will seem, they are extremely broken the way i have them but it's the fifth anniversary you really got to go big or go home and considering lr kale and khalifla are in this game and they are the exact opposite definition of the word balance you might as well just go all out with these units um and point three um i do not own any of the arts that you will see for these units uh all three uh, credits will be linked down in the description below. So no, I do not own any of the arts. All credit will be down in the description below for the people who made them. Without any further ado, let's get right into these units. First up on this list is the boy Gogeta Blue. Uh, his name will be Pinnacle of Godly Power Super Saiyan God Gogeta. Uh, I wanted to make these as official as possible, so I had to go Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan instead of Super Saiyan Blue. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We gotta move on with it. Until they accept Super Saiyan Blue in the game, it is what it is. Uh, I have him as Super Tech, because for me personally, I feel as though Tech is lacking in like defensive style units. Now, while probably Vegito would be a better defensive option, I feel that Gogeta being a tech unit would be better. Uh, I'm personally not really a fan of int type units, so that's why I don't have any of these three as int type units. But, uh, the way I have Gogeta written out as I'll get to later, I feel like him being tech would be the better option. Um, uh, his leader... Um, yes, it's gonna be fusion again, but as you can probably see, I have 200% stats across the board. If there was ever a time to bump up from 170, it is now for the 5th year anniversary. I am well aware that Go Frieza are 177%, but that was to go with their gimmick of representing Universe 7. But it's time to really move up from 170, I feel. You also gotta give us, like, new stuff. Because with 200%, the teams are just gonna be steamrolling through events. Like, even Legendary Goku event. So, give us more difficulty, or... I, I don't know, but... 200% is how I have them. Uh, including now 150% for their respective typing, so he'll buff super tech by 150%. That is massive for Battlefield, or even the old school uh, Super Battle Roads. That's insanely OP, but I mean the highest we have is 120% for typings. So if we're gonna buff up categories to 200, you might as well buff up typings to 150. I say let's do it, go all out. Uh, now, his passive, I have it called the one above all others. Um, I, people are gonna be like, oh, you got that from Marvel. It's kind of like a nod to Marvel, but considering that the Dokkan community, as well as Dragon Ball as a whole, they all say that Gogeta's the strongest, so I'm gonna rock with it. He's the strongest fusion out there, so one above all others. That's his passive name. Um, he's gonna have a... Uh, 150% attack and defense outright. So he'll always have it. Period. 150% additional attack and defense. Boom. And he will also perform an additional super attack. That's it. Outright, he will always perform an additional super attack and he will always have 150% attack and defense. So that right there is already pretty good. Because even if you fail to get him 12 key, at least 12 key for him to perform a super attack, Let's be honest here, it's going to be impossible to not get him 12k. It's going to be almost impossible to not get him 18. So, he will be double supering at least twice every single time. 
Um, I also kept the Gogeta gimmick of super effective against all types, so he will... He basically has guaranteed additionals and guaranteed crits, so he's already looking pretty dumb. Now, I really wanted to give these units a support style passive. Uh, so for Gogeta, he will buff fusion category allies by 50% uh, for attack and defense, and for himself, an additional 3 key in attack and defense plus 20% when HP is 70% or higher. Starts from the third turn of battle, so the second time he's around, he will have that buff to himself. Uh, and if you happen to fall below 70% at any time, if you buff yourself back up to 70+, plus, he will reapply that buff to himself at that start of that turn. So if you're, so say for like you're 69% or lower going into that rotation and you buff it back up by getting the same color orb, he'll immediately reapply that buff. Now, moving on to his active skill, I gave him the God Punisher. This way I can have that Kamehameha he did at the end of the movie and keep his Stardust Fall because I really liked all three of those moves. So for his active, I gave him the God Punisher. So he will give himself 24 key with this active skill. So he will immediately be able to do his 18 key super. Uh, he also massively raises attack temporarily, and I have at the bottom there an asterisk. Uh, it's 100% ultimate damage for one turn. So his active skill gets the buff, and I believe his super attack gets the buff as well. And he causes ultimate damage to the enemy, just like the Super Saiyan 4s do. Uh, and this can be a uh, activated starting from the fourth turn of battle, so it keeps the same requirements as the Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, I just gave like a little active quote for it uh so for his 12 key super attack is his stardust fall this infinitely raises his attack and defense and will cause colossal damage to the enemy and for his 18 key uh i call the full power god kamehameha which is that kamehameha he did at the end of the movie and broly you know shenron saved him you hate to see it but it is what it is so that Kamehameha is going to be Gogeta's 18 key and he greatly raises defense and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. So no matter which super you get, you are at least stacking your defense infinitely. So this way, because of his passive, you get the 18 key super, you stack your defense plus 50%, and then he additionals into his 12 key which raises his defense another 20% and adds another 20% to his attack. So the reason why I built him this way is with the Legendary Goku event in mind. Obviously, I could have probably dummied him down a little bit and he would still be a fantastic unit for the Legendary Goku event. But considering he's an LR, he's Gogeta, he's in blue, and it's the fifth year anniversary, he's going to be as powerful as I please him to be. Uh, those are the two super quotes I decided to give him. Uh, I especially really like the 18 key super. I don't remember where I heard him say this is the ultimate fusion, but that's what I have it as because I really like it. Uh, his links, I have a Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Obviously, the last two are a given, so I just came up with five others, and since he will fall into the Kamehameha category, I gave him that link. Prepare for battle and over in a flash. Now, the reason why I gave him both, other than the fact that that's really perfect linking, is because when I get to Vegito, you're gonna understand why I have both prepare for battle and over in a flash. That way, he's able to link up with any of the fusions possible. So he's able to give at least two key, or he's able to give at least three key just by being next to them. So that's why I chose those links. Um, his categories, obviously, movie heroes, Roma gods, fusion, kamehameha, and transformation boost. And the little asterisks are there so you know, like, how much it's buffed by. So that's Gogeta. Let's move on to the next one. Next up on the list is the boy Vegito Blue, personally my favorite of the two fusions. Uh, so he's gonna be called Limitless Godly Radiant Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegito. Now, obviously, I know he's not Limitless, but we're gonna go with the, uh, the Unchanged Pataro, and we're gonna go with Limitless because it's better, and it keeps me from having to remember that Vegito Blue got extremely nerfed in Super, and I hate it. I really hate it, but moving on. Uh, I have him the typing as Super AGL. Now, I know we had 
AGL out the butt the last ma few major units. But I've always really wanted a super AGL Vegito Blue. And this is the time to let it happen. So I know that it's enough of, is enough with AGL and we really need other typings. But that's why I gave Gogeta Tech. But I really want a, an AGL Vegito Blue so I gave him AGL for this. I'm sorry but I, got, I had to go with that. His leader is going to be, obviously, for the Batar category, he's going to have the same 200% 3 key, and he'll be the same as Gogeta, 150% to uh, AGL class. Now, his passive is going to be called uh, Deity Rivaling Power. Uh, so, again, he will also have 150% attack and defense outright. And he will have guaranteed critical hits. Yes, he will have guaranteed crits. And as we keep going, you're going to look at this like, why is Vegito this overpowered? It's 5th anniversary, we're going all out. And he has guard activated against all attacks. He will not take damage at all, basically. 200% from his leader, 150% from his passive, on top of guarding. And then we move on to the next segment, damage received from normal attacks plus... Uh, minus 30%, sorry, not plus, and he will counter with tremendous power. He guarantees crits, and he counters, and he takes no damage. Do we understand how busted this is? Some of you might be thinking, oh, you nerfed Gogeta Blue. No, Gogeta is still very powerful. He basically has built-in crits with his super effective, and he performs additional supers. Gogeta is constantly stacking his defense so he also will take no damage and output a um, ridiculous amount of damage and then again you know i wanted to give the support buff so he buffs batara the same way gogeta buffs uh fusions 50 percent attack and defense and then he also gets the 20 percent attack and defense and three key 70 percent or higher hp I already explained it works the same exact way no changes now, his active skill is called Spear Sword Excalibur. Um, I was scrolling through uh, on the F Dragon Ball Wiki of like what moves Vegito has in his arsenal because the ones that really mostly stuck out to me were obviously Spear Sword and Final Kamehameha. I could have done Big Bang Kamehameha, but that's more of Gogeta style, so I didn't want to take from that. So I went with Spear Sword Excalibur. Um, they said that it's a move that Super Saiyan 3 Vegito used in Dragon Ball Heroes. I couldn't really find it, and I looked it up, and after... It was more of like a Xenoverse 2 thing, but if you play Dragon Ball Legends, uh, Spirit Sword Excalibur is basically the equivalent of Super Vegito's uh, legendary finish move. Alright! Come on, give me all you got! I don't want to see a trace of you left! I mean, unless this is all you've got. So if you know that, that's basically what the active skill is. And he has the exact same effect. 24 key, massively raises, ultimate damage, and 4 turns. Um, the active quote is actually... Um... I believe it's Gogeta's quote, or it might be Vegito's. I'm not 100% sure. I believe it's Gogeta's, but I really liked it. So I gave it to Vegito. Um, it's again from Legends, but I really liked it just because it sounds so cocky and taunting. So I gave it to Vegito for that. Um, his 12 key super, obviously, is going to be his Spirit Sword. Um... And because of his passive, everything here is kind of limited. So his 12 key is raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. Oh, I have that as all enemies. That should just be one enemy. So I'll have to go back and fix that. But that should be one enemy, not all. It's not an AoE. So calm down. It's a single target. I sh forgot to change that. That's my bad. Um, so it's raises defense one turn and causes colossal damage to one enemy. Um, and then his 18 key is Final Kamehameha greatly raises defense for 3 turns and causes Mega Colossal of damage to the enemy. So he gets 30% defense for 1 turn from his 12 key, 
50% for three turns from his 18k. So that's why it's more of like a time thing because of how his passive is already that he already guards and he reduces normal from by uh, 30%. So he's uh, more limited than Gogeta who's a stacking unit. So that's why I have Gogeta, uh, Vegito on a timer rather than Gogeta is. Uh, his quotes are basically Vegito style quotes. Nothing really surprising there. Uh, his links, Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Over the Flash, Come Memory, How, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Now, I know Vegito units normally have power bestowed by God, but because he's on the Come Memory, category, I'm like, I gotta give him the Come Memory, link. Like, he'll live without that plus 2500 because Come Memory, already does that. And the others I didn't want to get rid of because those are links that go that uh, Vegito will have. So I had to do a toy cost, and it's like, I'd rather have Kamehameha than Power Bestowed by God, honestly. Because he, re I did not want to shaft this Vegito on the key links, because uh, Physical Vegito Blue, not fi not Physical, uh, Tech Vegito Blue got really shafted on his key links, and I didn't want to do that for this Vegito. So I gave him Prepare for Battle and Over on the Flash, so he can link with any Vegito or any Vegito Blue. Uh, categories, you know, any ones that Vegito will have. Uh, Time Travelers, Future, Patara, Comet, Maha, Roma, Guys, and Transformation Boost. And at the bottom of the asterisk of how uh, I would have the buffs from his supers. So yeah, moving on to the third and final unit, the Part 2 LR. Here it is, the Part 2 LR. You all probably guessed it is a Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Again, it does start out as the, um, it does start out as base form, so, sorry, Int and Fizz, it can't be ran together, but the other Rosés can be, because I know that AGL Rosé is probably getting his EZA soon, so I prioritized linking that Rose with this one instead of a, a base form Goku Black. So, he will be called Most Malevolent Saiyan Goku Black Super Saiyan Rosé. Uh, title, he's the most malevolent Saiyan. I can't think of a more evil one. Uh, so I gave him the typing of Extreme Fizz, because to me personally, while Extreme Fizz is actually a pretty good, uh, typing, I just wanted to give it, like, a little bit extra of a buff. So I went with Extreme Fizz with for him. Plus, he will also basically destroy the Legendary Goku event at the end. So, for his leader, Realm of Gods, 4 key and 150% attack. Now, normally it would be 4 key and 130% attack, but since we're buffing up uh, percentages with this anniversary, I'm like, you know what, let's do it. 150%, he replaces UI Goku, basically. Um, he could replace um, AGL Merge Masu 2. But considering the second portion of Mer Zamasu's, you might want to use Zamasu over Goku Black, but Goku Black is still a very good option. Uh, and he will also buff up Time Traveler's 4 key and 120% attack. So that's his subcategory leader. Uh, his passive Darkness of True Beauty. If you know Goku Black, you know that passive name isn't a shocker at all. Uh, damage received from attacks minus 52%. Now, 52% seems a little weird of a number, but I wanted to do something special for him, so I checked the original air date in Japan for when uh, Super Saiyan Rose debuted. So it was August 28th, right? Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, August 28th, okay. So August 28th, 2016 is when Rosé debuted. So I combined the month number, the day number, and the year number, and I got 52. So I'm glad that I got a high number for that. Otherwise, I would have had to bump him up and I couldn't do a special uh, thing for him. So all damage he takes, minus 52% outright. Uh, the next part of his passive, Extreme Class Allies, uh, 3 key, attack and defense, plus 50%. Uh, I was a big fan of how they handled, um, of how they handled, uh, Rose and Goku Black's support passives. So I wanted to keep that in there because that makes them really good, uh, support units as well as just a unit overall. Um, 
And because it's Rosé, perform a critical attack when facing a super class enemy. That is a very, 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 very large majority of this game. So he crits against everything, basically. So, Legendary Goku event, crits outright. Um, let's see, what else? Some super battle roads, outright crits. He is so dumb. Especially in Dokkan events, battlefield everything. He's a fantastic unit. Uh, super class enemies, attack and defense minus 30%. That is mostly for super battle road. That's ins- And then attacks connect against all enemies. Meaning he nullifies Ultra Instincts dodging in the Legendary Goku event. It's so dumb. And then, obviously, I wanted to keep the category support uh, buff passives. So Realm of Gods allies attack and defense plus 40%. Now, some of you may be wondering, does the Extreme Class and Realm of Gods stack? Yes, they will stack together. So, Goku Blacks, Rosés, um... And Merge Masus and LR Rose Masu, all of them will receive a 90% attack and defense buff as well as three key. Like I said, they're gonna be busted, but it's the anniversary and it's time. It's we always prefer these units to be so dumb and broken because it's just a lot of fun. Yes, it can get boring, but when events like Legendary Goku Event are here and Super Battle Road, it's like why not just go have fun in there and have it still be challenging but you can still have fun and still feel a little bit powerful you know uh his active power of a true god massively raises attack and defense for all allies temporarily can be activated starting from the fifth turn so instead of causing ultimate damage he buffs the entire rotation by 100 percent attack and defense for one turn just that one turn and that's it so I really designed him more of a support unit, but I also wanted to give him damage and whatnot. Uh, the active quote, you know, classic Rose A quote. Not word for word, but like it's worded in a way that Rose would say it. Um, his 12 super violent fierce god slicer. He lowers enemy's defense and causes, uh, not clauses, causes colossal damage to the enemy. So throughout... The legendary goku event or super battle road or battlefield or anything that can have his defense lowered he's the one doing it uh and then his 18 super holy black kamameha it's kind of like the way that int rose does his super attack so he greatly lowers the defense and then causes mega colossal damage so either way from a super attack the enemies have their uh defense lowered uh the super quote for 12 is actually from Dragon Ball Legends, it's when you pop uh, Purple Goku Black's uh, main ability, and he's like, How dare you defy a god! So I really liked it, so I kept it. And then uh, the 18 key is not really from anything, but it would be something that Rose would say. Uh, Link's Big Bad Bosses, you always gotta have Big Bad Bosses in there. It's one of the best villain links ever so i'm like if i'm gonna have any link it's gonna be at least big bad bosses uh he also has fear and faith nightmare kamameha prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary powers so last four are pretty standard for a goku black that does kamameha so i just filled in three with villain links that are common so big bad bosses fear and faith nightmare uh categories time travelers future patara kamameha realm of gods and transformation boost then at the bottom, the asterisks for what the modifiers are for the active and supers. So yeah, that's mostly going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. Uh, let me know of what you think for these units. Like I said, I know they're a little busted, but it's 5th anniversary. You want to have a little bit of fun. You want to make the players happy. So went all out, made them special. Let me know what you all would like to see for the anniversary units down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.